Hello! Hello, my honey bees. It's your girl, honey, and today I'm going to be eating nuclear fire noodle wrap. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. This was actually requested by Anna, a honey bee I met in Vegas. So here I am finally filming for you, Anna, and I haven't tried this. I did see Kim Tai try this, and she made it look so good, so I'm super excited to try. So let's have our first bite, honey bite. Let's try it. Wrap it in our lettuce right here. Ooh, yum. Is it going to fit? Let's eat healthy today, guys. First bite, honey bite. Mmm. Whoa. Guys, this is really good. Mmm. I'm impressed. I got it all over my nose, all over my face. But wow, guys, this is really good. Thank you for introducing this to me. And I have some kimbap here. Mmm. So if you guys want a little crunch, but you guys don't like pickled radish, I think this is a good alternative. Mmm. Let's have just our noodles. Mmm. And if you feel like eating a little bit healthier, you can eat it with this wrap. It does taste a little bit healthier. <laughs> Yanni bite. And our little mug here. Mmm, serrano pepper. Oh yeah. So I was cooking my nuclear fire noodle today and I noticed something different on the package. It said hello on it, so I'm guessing they changed the ingredient and got rid of the meat because a lot of you guys who are halal requested, I think, for Hamyang to come out with a meatless ramen noodles because they're so good. So if you guys are wondering if this has meat in it or not, it is halal, so... Another wrap. So last weekend, one of my friends slept over. And so we decided to take the dogs on a walk together for the first time. Oh, Nina. Guess what, guys? My dogs are pretty protective, so they're not nice to you if they see you for the first few times. But after we went for a walk with my friend, we came back home, right? Shocking. Zeno starts acting all cute and leaning against her and asking her to pet her. And I was like, whoa, he's never done that before. Zena's never done that before. They were acting super friendly with her and we were like so touched because they were acting so cute and so lovable. I love her. Ooh. My friend and I were both like, oh, oh, oh. They did say if you have an aggressive dog or a dog who is not really friendly, take them on walks and that's how they bond with you.
That's also a reason why I groomed all of my dogs growing up. Because you have to spend time with them, you know? Plus, washing them is pretty stress relieving, I feel like. Because you're like rubbing them, scrubbing them, talking to them while you bathe them. Mmm. I love kimbap. Guess what, guys? I've been wanting to do this thing my whole life, right? Well, not my whole life, but the past couple years. But it was a little too expensive, so I was, like, holding it off. And I started Pilates. The only reason why is because right now they have a package, like, three sessions for a couple hundred dollars. So... I decided to finally try it out because self-care is the best care and it's an investment. And guess what? I loved it. I only went once. But I also found out how weak my core is. My stomach. Wow. I don't know if you guys know, but... I only do cardio because one, I don't like doing weights. Two, I just don't like working out my upper body. Maybe because my core is so weak. What about you guys? Are you guys more of a cardio person or a weights person? Let me know in the comments down below. This is a tiny wrap. Baby wrap. So one of the reasons why I wanted to start Pilates is because I don't have a really good posture. I slouch a little bit, but after even just doing it for one session, I feel like my posture is more straight now. And my Pilates teacher told me that I'm actually a little bit slanted like this, like my posture is leaning to the right a little bit, which I knew already because my friend saw me walking and she's like, oh, do you wear your purse on the right side of your shoulders a lot? And I was like, oh, yeah, why? And then she was like, oh, you're a little, like, unbalanced, right? I was like, what, really? And I do always wear my purse on the right side. I always wore my backpack to one side when I was younger. And so I guess that had an effect on why I'm so asymmetrical right now <laughs> or imbalanced. But 
Pilates is supposed to help you a lot with your posture. So I'm looking forward to getting my balance back to the middle. After my first Pilates session, I decided I'm going to start doing some upper body workouts. So I'm going to start doing the Chloe Ting workouts with my brother. I heard her workouts are intense. It was so funny because after a few workouts with the Pilates teacher, I put my legs on a bar thing and she started pushing it to kind of like relax my muscles. And I guess she pushed kind of hard, but I wasn't saying anything. I wasn't going like, ah, ah, because I have a super high pain tolerance. And she was like, does this not hurt? Are you okay? Should I do it harder? And I was like, no, no, it's fine. It's like perfect. It's a, It hurts a little bit, but you know, I'm not complaining. And she's like, wow, you must have a super huge, super high pain tolerance. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Because she was pushing my muscles pretty hard. And she was like debating if she should push harder because I wasn't going like, ow, ow. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but me, I am always super tense. I don't know how to relax my muscles. So whenever I go get my nails done, right, they'll be like, oh, relax your hand, relax your hand. But I'm like, and I don't know how to relax it. So they keep saying like, Every few minutes, they'll be like, here, relax, relax. I don't know why, but I don't know how to relax myself. <laughs> I'm always like alert and tense. Mm. I recommend eating this part separately because when you wrap it, it kind of gets stuck like this. Now I'm just like, eh, eh. Mm. This combo is really good. Wow. If you're feeling noodles but feel a little bit too guilty and you're like, yeah, that's too much carbs, go with this combo. It'll make you feel a little bit better about yourself for eating noodles. Ooh. Wrap it. Another wrap. These are huge. Look at how big they are, guys. I'm gonna cut the end. Get some noodles. Put it on. Show it to you. Wrap it. Wrap it well. Some of you guys actually noticed that I lost a little bit of weight. And that's because I've been able to take my dogs out way more often, almost every day. And also, my friend told me that she bought this thing called Hot Suit, which basically you wear it and 
you work out in it, right? And you start sweating profusely like you're in a sauna. So I bought that on Amazon and I wore that today and wow, sweat was dripping all over my body, like even to my shoes from my pants. Can you guys believe that? I was like, whoa, do I have to like wear another layer inside or what? Because I'm raining sweat. So guys, if you guys want to sweat it out and let it all out, get yourself a hot soup because it works. And Kim Tai, thank you for introducing us to this nuclear fire noodle wrap because this is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! It's just a little bit hard to wrap. Maybe because I'm trying to eat a big bite, but last bite! for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and to become a honey bee and like this video if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye